Hello YouTube, I am Thorstein from Cinema Terror, and this is my review of the obscure 1995 supposedly horror film Stormswept. This film takes place within a big mansion that holds a terrible secret. When the real estate agent Dari goes in to investigate this abandoned place, she gets a premonition of something evil and disturbing. She reluctantly sets up a deal for a young actress to rent a place for a month, as she wants it for rest between the shots of a low-budget B-movie, but when the deal is to be finalized, a mighty storm breaks out, causing Dari and the film crew to be stranded at this big mansion with the evil within it, free to unleash its powers upon them all. Now, if I did my work right, then that should sound like the synopsis for a horror film with a group of young people trapped inside a house with evil residing in it. But viewers be fooled indeed, as this film is a horror film without any horror in it at all. I'm not exaggerating when I say that the horror part of this film makes up for less than 10 minutes of the total running time. The rest is spent with these characters either talking about sex, making jokes about sex, being naked fantasizing about sex, or just having sex. And then the biker, he puts his face down between my legs. And I can feel him. I mean, God, I, I can really feel him. The evil in this mansion, which is never fully explained, has a way to make all the people that stay there experience heightened sexual urges, giving in to their lust for sexual pleasures. It's almost like they had an original idea, started filming it, enjoyed shooting scenes with the beautiful ladies taking their clothes off, or just being promiscuous, and at the end of the shoot someone reminded the rest that this was supposed to be a horror film. So they had to quickly put together an ending just to wrap up the entire thing. It's baffling to me how this even exists. I mean, what was the purpose of this thing in the first place, and who would actually put up the money for this stuff? I'd say they should have just got the same girls and made a softcore movie if that's what they were after. I guess that's what they did while trying to hide it as a film for horror fans. Stormswept does have a nice enough location available for a horror film to work, if they actually was going for that. It wouldn't have taken that much work to add a few scenes that attempted to bring some suspense, but instead they just felt the need for long scenes of sexual filled content to fill up the running time. If you do enjoy seeing B-movie actresses take the clothes off though, then there are plenty of that for you to enjoy here, as nearly all the ladies in this film takes their top off a few times. And they did do a good job in gathering a good enough ensemble for that. Melissa Moore from Evil Spawn, Sorority House Massacre 2 and Samurai Cop is as gorgeous as ever in this. It really is haunted. There's something. I mean, we didn't just talk ourselves into it. Into what? Davy said that the uh, spirit would make us feel sexy. It was unavoidable. The same can also be said about Larissa McComas, who would also go on to be in the 1995 Piranha remake and a bunch of other B-movies. The rest of the ladies are Kim Koff, Julie Hughes and Kathleen Kinmont. Out of the male characters, the only partly memorable one is Justin Carroll as the douchey perverted director Damon. And he is memorable strictly due to him being incredibly annoying throughout the entire film. The cast basically has to carry the film as there is nothing else to it other than their delivery of dialogue and the reveal of their bodies. Even if I thought the Damon character was useless, I had no trouble watching the rest of them, regardless if they were clothed or not. On a technical level, this film is just atrociously bad. The editing is awful, the way they try to tell a story is beyond poor, some scene transitions or character changes make zero sense and there is a lack of attempt to create something visually interesting. There is some awkward humor in it that misses on all its tries, and the pacing is oh so slow. Then again, it doesn't really have anywhere to proceed to in the first place. Surprisingly enough, this film was not directed by Jim Wynorski, which was shocking as hell as this movie felt like one of his productions. Looking at the filmography by director David I. Fraser makes me realize that it is not that far off from Wynorski though. He came from the adult cinema world, and Stormswept is actually the only film he's done that does not have the adult label on it. It would also turn out to be the last film that they ever did. Stormswept is trash, pure trash, but yet I did not mind sitting through it. I have a built-in nostalgia love for obscure, forgotten stuff like this, 
so I had no trouble admitting that I will enjoy this way more than the average movie or even horror movie lover. Stormswept is for those of us who love the TNA that we got from the 80s horror films and would enjoy a movie like that with the horror part removed. If you've gone through all the films that Jim Wynorski has made and you want more of that stuff, then Stormswept will be the film for you. Again, this is not a good movie at all and most reviewers will probably give this the bottom score. I stress that part as I don't want the final score for the film to mislead you. This is getting a better score than what it deserves as I just have a hard time disliking this kind of stuff. I am gonna follow my heart and not logic and give Stormswept a 2.5 out of 5. Anyone else there that sat through or heard about Stormswept before? I guess my question to you would be why you decided to watch it, and how the hell you came across it. And if you enjoy reviews of B-movies that no one else seems to give the time of day, then there are plenty more of those to be found on my channel. I have a Patreon page for those of you who might want to buy me a beer as a thank you for my stuff, so you know, check that out if you want to. Until next time, thank you for watching.